Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Tamir's Vidal versus Melissa Gatto. Uh, Tamir's Vidal, 7 and 2, 4 and 1 in her last five fights. Lost to Maserat Rendon in her last ones by split decision, plus 300 underdog. 25 years old, 5'6 with a 68 inch reach. Melissa Gatto's 8, 2 and 2, 3 and 2 in her last five fights. Minus 410 favorite. What in the world? Do, do people think that. She's so bad that Vidal is so bad that she's a plus 300 underdog. That seems nuts to me. 5'5 five, five with a 69 inch reach, uh, one inch a height advantage for Vidal, one inch reach for Gatto. Gatto is not necessarily a striker, though. She has been out for a little while. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see what uh, improvements she has made. That is something that I am curious to see because, again, if she's made good improvements, we have a good fighter. So, supposed to be Haley Cohen. Cohen, she pulled out of the fight. It is now obviously Melissa Gatto. So, I don't think. Let me see. Gatto. I gotta search this now. Because she was not the original opponent. Melissa Gatto. Okay. So. Uh, won her first two fights, lost her last two fights. She significant strikes landed per minute, 3.98. Takedown averages is 1.18. Accuracy is 21. Takedown defense is 63. Averages 0.3 submissions a fight. Striking defense is 54. Strikes attempted per minute, 3.13. Absorbed per minute, sorry, 3.13. Uh, landed is 3.98. Like I said, accuracy is 48%. So again, I, I actually really like Tamir's Vidal in this. I, I, I like her a lot in this matchup. Her takedown uh, defense is 63%, which I'm not really concerned. Her accuracy is only 21. But again, the one thing about it is she's been out for about a year. You got to expect a pretty damn good Melissa Gatto. And because Vidal does sit down on her punches, you know, with seven wins, you know, she has three finishes. So she's been decision three times. But has been submitted one time, which been uh, was against Carol Rosa in the third round um, five years ago. Did defeat Pascal by flying knee in, in 2022, but Pascal was never really that good. But again, did beat her with a flying knee. So there's that. Lost a split decision against Rendon, like I said. Montserrat Rendon, who is now 6-1. and one. Lost her last one, which was a weird one for sure, but... I, I like Melissa Melissa Gatto. It is a little worrisome for sure just because she's been out for a year. But I expect a very, very good, determined, motivated Gatto. And I just don't need the one-dimensional game of Vidal. Even though it is, she does have big power and all those things. I do think Gatto finds a way to win this matchup. Whether it's with volume, whether it's with mixing the takedowns and just being well-rounded. I like Melissa Gatto. I think she gets the job done. As always, subscribe, like, comment. See you at the next one. Peace.